fun. Yeah. 614 and Katie, just about 30 minutes until we see your kiddos. So exciting. Yes, they are on the way, as are a bunch of other little kids. We're going to have a little Halloween parade, show off some costumes here on the Morning Coast Show. So you want to stick around for that about 645 or so. We're going to be doing that. But uh, for now, we just want to get you out the door here. Hopefully you can stick around for the little, uh, you know, the festivities that we're going to have in the next half hour. But for now, it is all clear over our local area. High pressure is the story for now, and it will stay that way. However, tomorrow, notice your time stamp. We're jumping ahead to tomorrow morning. As the sun is just barely rising, most of us still have some light of day, some sunlight to enjoy. But the clouds are going to overspread the area. And at this point, it looks like Philly stays dry. Out down towards Delaware, southern New Jersey, you should be okay. But notice this little swath of rain that's trying to work its way through. There could even be a localized moderate downpour that comes through the Poconos. But generally, these showers hold off uh, to the northwestern counties. The furthest south extent of this, even by the model's expectation, would only make it to Chester or western Montgomery County. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. We think that we will stay dry in Philly, though, and all points south of that. It's pretty much a guarantee. Just a lot more clouds. And then we actually still have a few showers in the forecast Thursday and Friday. That's also when we warm up. We'll get to that in the seven day. But a quick check outside in our live neighborhood network. It is all clear right now, and you're looking pretty good. A couple of stray clouds far up in the sky. Uh, nothing really low to the ground. 60 is our eventual high, though, in full sunshine. It's a little breezy during the day, but later this evening, that wind really eases up just as the uh, sun is setting. The moon is rising, and it will be a nearly full moon over our, our, our area with a waxing gibb. It's about 83% illumination is what that boils down to, but increasing clouds with time, so sort of an eerie cast over the night sky as the night progresses. Now, tomorrow looks cool with those clouds and the isolated showers we talked about, but very warm Thursday and Friday despite the clouds and a stray shower here and there. Michelle? Yeah, look at